Hey guys, welcome back. Now in today's video, we're actually gonna be giving away uh, what our algorithm actually does. And the reason why we're gonna be so open and let you guys know how to work this stuff out with yourself with a calculator or an Excel spreadsheet or whatever you want is because we had a lot of people say, saying in the comments from the previous video that this algorithm is some sort of scam, okay? And uh, we're actually developers, so, you know, it's easier for us to actually make a proper algorithm than just try and scam people for, you know, a measly 33 pounds. Why would we do that, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go through how that algorithm works and how you can just use a calculator and do the same sort of thing today. Now, but before we get into that, I do want to just mention a thing about the um, the guys that have signed up to the Masters over on Mutual.Ninja. Uh, you probably haven't um, all received your Bitcoin multiplier method uh, in the post yet. That's because on Friday, we actually ran out of tubes, these posted tubes. We've got some new uh, tubes in that actually came yesterday. And uh, over the weekend, we had an awful lot of people signing up. Um, much more than we expected. So we even actually ran out of Bitcoin multiplier methods, um, but we have ordered an awful lot more, okay, from, from the printers. They're coming over from Germany, great printing company. I've been using them for years, and uh, they're gonna be coming on the 15th of May. And we've actually added a couple of pages at the back. No new content, but we just tidied it up a bit and um, made it a bit more presentable and a bit nicer for you guys. So, Definitely something cool there for you. Now let's get into this algorithm and show you all how it works. So first question, what is Mutru? Now this seems to cause a bit of confusion. So uh, we are a development company based here in the United Kingdom that aims to help crypto investors to do more powerful research quickly and easily. We do this by creating crypto research and analysis tools for our Crypto Ninja membership site, Mutru.ninja. So, you know, we are a proper company. We develop these tools for crypto investors such as yourselves. And um, my goodness, guys, this is not a scam. <laughs> you know, fair play to people. I don't know. We're, we're, but we have had a lot of comments on, uh, on that last video suggesting that does get a bit annoying after a while, I'll be honest. So, how our algorithm works. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this coin here, they're called Veros. Now this was suggested by Ron Martinez. He says, have you checked out Veros? This has a potential to go a hundred times, a thousand times by December, 2018. I really love the way that he's planned ahead with where he expects the coin to go and even given a date for that coin it shows he's uh, kind of planning and suggesting that it's, it's going to do this but we're going we're gonna to go through and at the end of this short analysis you'll be able to decide for yourself whether you think it's going to achieve the results which Ron is hoping for. Um, so here we go this is Veros let's get straight into it. So Veros we can see currently its price is at eight cents and we've got the market cap there, just under 800,000. Uh, not a lot of uh, volume, we've only got 16,000 for the day. And circulating supply, 9 million. So, you need to remember these figures. These figures are the ones you're gonna use. Get your calculator out and uh, go through the figures with us. And after this, you can crack on and go through all the 1,600 coins on coin market cap and see how long that takes you. This is why we create the algorithm, right? Um, so here we go. We're going to calculate the price of a coin um, at 4 billion market cap. So let me just... This is the scenario with the algorithm. So we're not suggesting that all 12 coins that we suggested on the last video are going to go to 4 billion and that 4 billion should be your exit price. What we're saying is that um, if tomorrow all the coins on coin market cap were to be 4 billion market cap, how many how many coins would we need to buy of each coin today and how much would that cost us to make a million dollars on that coin tomorrow? Okay, so that's what we're looking for. How many do we need to buy today? How many coins do we need to buy? How much is it gonna cost to make a million? Now, when we actually do the analysis, you might decide that the coin has potential to do 18 billion. You might decide it might only do a billion, but because it's so cheap, 
it's worth it anyway, right? So it, we're not saying it's definitely going to go to four billion. This is just, you know, let's sort of lay it all out and have it flat for everything. And um, all we're looking for is a level playing field for all of the coins. Let's say they've all got the same market cap and then evaluate them from there so that, you know, they're all level. Right. I hope that made sense. <laughs> okay. So what we want to do is we want to take a market cap of 4 billion. So if you write 4 billion into your calculator and divide that by the current circulating supply, that will give you your exit price. This is your target exit price that you want to sell at an exchange to make a million. And that price is going to be $438.84. So this is the price we want to be uh, selling at. But how many coins do we need to buy today? to uh, make that happen. So what we need to do is you need to take a million dollars and divide that by your exit price of uh, $438 and that will give you uh, 2,280 which is the coins required. So if you bought 2,280 coins today you'll be able to sell those at 4 billion make a million. So here we go. How much are they going to cost? Okay, so how much is those 2,000 coins going to cost? All we need to do is uh, times 0 0.08 by the 2,000 coins, and we can see the cost of the coins is going to be $182, which does sound pretty good. So this is certainly in the sort of price bracket of the results which were coming out of our algorithm, but this isn't a coin which I've actually seen before, so it didn't actually come out of the algorithm. The reason for that is because we did tweak tweak the algorithm a little bit to look at the 24 hour volume which was being traded so if the volume isn't really high enough um, it basically gets filtered out and this coin is one of those but we'll go into that in just a sec the question is is this really worth investing in so what we're going to do now is we're just going to have a look at coin market cap and have a look at the website have a quick look through the uh, white paper if they've got one. Right, so here we are on CoinMarketCap and Veros. We can see this is all the figures we were just looking at earlier. And you can see that it's actually been out for quite some time, so well over a year. And during that time, in 2017, it went down an awful lot until it um, pretty much bottomed out, getting worth absolutely nothing at all. And then just recently, for some reason, it went from being priced at uh, 0 0.000161 and then rocketed all the way up to um, 11 cents, which is an all-time high for Veros. What triggered this massive all-time high? Now, I actually had a look at Ron's, um, Ron's message to see when he actually messaged me, because I was thinking he's a pretty cool dude if he managed to message me back here. But he actually only uh, messaged me just a couple of days ago around the time of the all-time high. So it's a bit, bit upsetting. I, I wish Ron sent that text a bit earlier. Text message, normal message. Anyway, um, now let's have a look at the markets. Now, bearing in mind this coin has already been on here for well over a year, uh, we can see that it is actually only available on live coins. So they've only managed to get on one exchange, which is a pretty poor effort, to be fair. Um, and on the social feed, there's no Reddit feed, but they do have Twitter. And if we have a look at their Twitter account, here we go. Uh, we can see that um, this is a pinned pinned post, and they've got lots of uh, retweets and, and likes. Well, not that many, really, to be fair. Um, and you'll see, looking through their Twitter feed, it is mostly just them talking about the migration of their coin, um, over to their new their new coin and if we have a look back on coin market cap you can see at the top here it does say veros has swapped to a new contract so basically they've written a new contract a new erc20 token so that everybody has to swap their tokens from the old tokens onto the new tokens which has consequently um, meant that they've all rushed to an exchange to change their tokens, which is why the price has spiked so severely. So if they hadn't said anything about swapping the tokens, the price would probably still be all the way down there. Uh, let's just have a look, quick look at their website. As you can see here, uh, they recently renewed their website. 
and uh, as you can see here this is the this is the roadmap and on the roadmap there are some important dates of their domain registration which took place on the 18th of March not March not March March and uh, they've done a rebranding and on the 9th of April they uh, they, they released their roadmap, so it's very important uh, milestones in the creation of their application, as you can see. Um, they, they've done some site creation and uh, added some partial content, very important. Uh, they, they created this one paper, and let's just talk of their migration, and, and another domain registration, which takes all about five minutes, right? Um, and then it goes on the stuff that they're waiting to do, yeah, their white paper, they're going to create a new white paper. Um, it's just, I don't know, I, I'm not really feeling it. Mission statement, here we go guys. So what is this company all about? Uh, just reading through a little bit, we can see VDH Origami is a fundraising unique platform for non-commercial organizations, companies, which companies is commercial, right? Uh, events and commercial projects so to me I think they could personally just reword that and just say um, everybody <laughs> uh, and they're, they're aimed to improving of life and the environment so they have a very focused um, plan to improve life and the environment by aiming their product at um, most organizations very focused company um, yeah <laughs> I've read through this guys I'll be honest I, I did re read for all of this earlier uh, same with this is it's called their one paper I think their one paper is is before they re-release their white paper and um, you see they've got a wallet here which basically acts as a wallet for their new coins which they've got coming out um, doesn't do anything new and spectacular this origami fundraising platform um, basically does the same as most fundraising platforms out there. Um, doesn't nothing nothing new there. Their trading platform is quite interesting because their trading platform uses the Veros DH, the digital heart token, um, which obviously no other trading platform uses, by the way. And you can purchase eco products from the trading platform. That's right, guys. You can actually purchase eco products from a trading platform, and you can get discount co coupons coupons for eco products and services in off platform. I'm not sure what in off platform means, um, but basically um, on the on the trading site you can actually purchase eco products. So for all you traders out there, which um, you know like hardcore traders, but also really into um, eco products. Yeah, yeah, I know. And then they've got this voting system, which basically allows people to vote. Um, so, I mean, going back to their website, you can look here at the top. This is Veros Digital Hearts. Uh, they're an environmental fundraising and trading platform. There's quite a lot, guys, quite a lot. You know, if there was an environmental platform with uh, a focus on environmental stuff and bringing out products for environmental things, that's kind of maybe a project. Um, if they were a fundraising platform, which was, you know, focusing on creating a fundraising platform for people, for courses, for whatever, that'd be a cool platform. I could see that. Um, if they were going to be a trading platform, like a coin, um, like Binance or something like this, then that'd be cool. Um, but as an environmental fundraising and trading platform, what is that? What is that? It, it's just too much, right? It's, I, I've got no idea what they're doing. And let's face it, guys. These guys have been doing this, whatever the, it is that they do, for over a year now. And so far, all they've managed to do is to create a new token sale offer, um, offering new tokens while having actually developed nothing. Nothing at all. So they, they've been here for over a year and developed absolutely nothing. And all they're doing now is basically offering new tokens. And they got an airdrop as well, by the way. So, they, you know, they've been out over a year and now they're doing a new airdrop with their new tokens and basically just trying to raise more money. So here's what I think has happened. Back in uh, early 2017, 
probably 2016 is it yeah so December 2016 they done an ICO raised themselves a nice bit of money and they sold off some of their tokens making themselves a tidy profit and they were very happy with that it went up maybe they sold off some more and eventually uh, the token price went totally dead because they weren't actually developing anything they just done an ICO to make make themselves some money and the price has stayed pretty low for almost a year now and you know they've obviously decided shall we just go out and do a new token sale or shall we just migrate to a new token with our existing customer base and that's exactly what they've done uh, but they don't actually have a product they don't actually have a reason to be in the space to me this is an absolute junk coin and the reason why it didn't come up in the results from the algorithm is because uh, if you look down here at the actual volume it's been so low for so long that it's not even going to show up in the algorithm so with the algorithm we kind of tweaked it as we were building it and you know testing it with different results to until we got some good results coming out uh, with the volume it's not something we can show on here because with the coin market cap algorithm uh, API <laughs> not algorithm it, it will send you the volume data but you can't really just see it on the screen you might be able to see it a little bit in this historical data okay so you've got the volume each day this is basically what comes out in the algorithm you've got this uh, the daily volumes so um, the algorithm basically checks for all, all of that volume and works out which coins are trading consistently so you know you, you're getting into a good coin um, and that's it so basically the algorithm gives us 30 decent coins per month so that we can um, analyze them and basically give the 12 best of the 30 to our group the uh, the Mutri Ninja Masters and they can then go ahead and look into those coins further you know so they can read those white papers basically there's 12 coins per month so they've only got 12 coins to look through they've only got 12 white papers to look through which is you know if you're doing three a week that's basically one paper every two days and easily fit that into a normal working day and then obviously you have got one day off so something which is doable it's doable right now if you want to go ahead and go to coin market cap right now um, as I say the calculation that we were just doing just now you can basically do this for every single coin on here yourself with a calculator if you're fancy and a bit more sophisticated you might be able to just copy and paste all of these figures into an Excel spreadsheet every month and do similar calculations however I'm not sure how long it's going to take you to uh, copy and paste let's see how many coins are there here um, dear me it's quite a few uh, 1602 so you've got all the <laughs> All, all these 1,602 coins to copy and paste all, all of that data into an Excel spreadsheet or do it on yourself on a calculator or oh my goodness guys I mean how much time do you have on your hands I don't have that much time which is why we wrote the algorithm to do all of that stuff for us and offered it to um, the Mutri Ninjas here it's £33 right now it's gonna be £69 as soon as our Mutri Club uh, ICO phase one finishes because um, I said the Mutri Ninjas would get a bit, a bit of a discount on those tokens and you can also buy with crypto now so this is something a lot of people were asking for so we added that in last week uh, Bitcoin by the way is a little bit slow and can cause some problems so I wouldn't suggest paying with Bitcoin but uh, the rest have all gone through absolutely fine so to save yourself a bit of time right <laughs> I mean, I've got to say, it's a freaking bargain. And a lot of people that have become uh, masters in this and are actually using this system have agreed and have said, you know, it's a massive time saver. And these are guys which don't want to be uh, wasting time. You know, people that maybe have got a bit more money and don't have a lot of time because they're working a lot. For those type of people, something like this, you know, it's a time saver. It's worth it, right? But there are a few people out there, uh, maybe you watching this, that maybe feel this is still a scam and that we shouldn't be charging any money, even though it is just like £33 for a lifetime membership. Um, and for you people, well, you can do it with a calculator. You can do it yourself now. I've just showed you what we do. And just crack on and uh, get 
tapping away on the old calculator. That's all I have for you here today and um, hope to do another video soon on an ICO I've been looking at. So um, that's it and uh, hope to see you soon.